All right, so this is the <clears throat> last panel in the bathroom besides right here, and I'll probably take that off. Uh, I'll probably take this panel off right here because um, I'm going to try and reroute this vent pipe uh, over to here. I'm not sure if I can yet, but I think I can. Um, it should be all right to be able to do that. So, looking at more more mold. Um, but here's the disturbing thing: is RVs are built with two by threes. And two by twos and the one by twos which are up there in the rafters so RVs aren't supposed to have two by fours well here's it is it's not funny but well it is it's kind of starting to get funny actually um, so they pulled that paneling off actually I'll show you they that the old the original paneling they actually cut it right there on the other side of this 2x4 right here they cut it all the way down the old paneling shoved that 2x4 in there and then refastened the wall around it all they would have had to do is just replace the 2x2 right next to the rotted board I don't understand I, I, I still don't understand I still don't get it I still don't understand the ethics because there is none we need to talk about these people. Bottom plate's completely missing. That one's rotted and missing. So I mean, in this plywood they put in, because you can see all the pieces, it wouldn't have been done that way from the factory. And they tried to do uh, a seam putty, which basically trying to seal the seam. Um, but you can't seal the seam an RV because the thing's driving down the road and it's twisting and creaking and everything else so I don't know if whoever did all this work just was new or or what but basically now I gotta pull all that out I'm gonna have to cut that one off and redo it in the top rafter up there and then redo all this stuff all the way down